atmosphere here is 90 times heavier than Earth's. Too heavy for a human to tolerate. On the ground, there are extinct volcanoes and lava flows as far as the eye can see. They cover 85% of the planet's surface. It's hard to believe Venus once had vast oceans. You basically had a runaway greenhouse effect where uh, as it starts to get warmer, the oceans start to evaporate, and then that puts water vapor in the air. Well, water vapor is a potent greenhouse gas, so that's what leads to the runaway. The oceans basically boil off, and then the CO2 all ends up in the atmosphere, and so today you have this very hot, hyper greenhouse planet. With temperatures around 460 degrees Celsius, Venus is even hotter than Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. Not a surface hospitable to life. Life as we know it cannot exist on the surface of Venus because organic molecules would just be ripped to shreds by, by the hot gases. But we've stopped here not because of what's on the ground, but what's in the air. In 1982, the Soviet spacecraft Venera 14 visited Venus. In the clouds, 50 kilometers up, it detected temperatures much cooler than on the surface. What's more, it found the molecules so critical for life, H2O. So far, every bit of water we found beyond Earth is frozen solid. Only in the clouds above Venus have we found it in vapor form, a possible incubator for life. But Venus's clouds are also filled with highly acidic sulfur. Once we thought nothing could live in sulfur. But scientists have analyzed some of the most acidic water on Earth, leaching from a California mine. Watch your 